Hey there, true believers, Rank Kisaragi here with more Let's Play Hitman No Subtitle Blind. Last time, we finished the second mission, which was Sapienza. Uh, because you guys said I probably should do this, or it would be interesting to see me do this, we're, gonna, we're going to uh, replay the showstopper, because you see I have all these challenges. Oh god, I have all these challenges. Um, looking through these, um, there's definitely stuff I can do. Um, the feats are going to be stuff that I don't know if I can do, but I can very, I can pretty easily do um, a couple of these. So let's, just, so let's just go ahead and begin the showstopper. Let's see, what am I gonna, what am I gonna have? Um, I guess basement stairwell, I guess. And I'll put a, uh, uh, proximity explosive? Why not? Probably not gonna get there. Uh, let's see, we have a tuxedo, coin fiber wire. That's pretty good. And the red carpet. Let's actually go in through the kitchen this time. Because that's, um, that's a challenge itself, is just to start in the kitchen. So we can do that. We'll start, start the showstopper. We're going to try to do stuff aside from just choke them and shoot them in the most boring way as possible. Let's try to do more interesting stuff this time. Also played through the final training mission again to just kind of get the idea of you can do other stuff. There's other stuff to do, which is pretty great. So, yeah. So I'm cleaning up in the kitchen. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna and stop blending in now, cause I have my I have my mission. Um, oh, hello. What are you? Huh. Okay. Okay, that's the barnacle boxer. All right. Okay, I have that now. That was easy. Let's see, where the hell am I, like, spatially in this level? Uh, let's see. Where am I spatially? I am in the basement. Okay, I'm in the basement. Got it. Uh, what can I find here in the basement that's gonna help me? I can blend... But will it blend? That's the question. Who are you, man? Do, do I know you? Ruined everything. Hey, why aren't you listening to me? Are so you deaf? Sorry. You are not getting Crap. All right, all right. Very, very funny. <laughs> Just gonna hide in here for a little bit. Until this guy's done searching for me. Off to a great start, I see. Alright, let's go into uh, stealth mode then. Oops. I guess I should just listen to them through the door then. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? Okay, I already have that though. That's cool. Okay, so the guy likes the bare knuckle boxer. I don't know what that is. But it's, but it's a drink, and I can probably make that, because I'm 47, and the best at everything. Now there's people who are going to know I'm not me in there, let's not go in there then. And there's just people who aren't going to care who I am in here, that's fine. Okay, first off, let's try to get out of the basement. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys, not allowed to go there. Okay, um, hmm. 
How am I getting out of the basement? I can't seem to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> um, Alright, let's try this way. Anybody here? No, and it is upstairs. Hey guys. What's up, fellow waitstaff? I am part of the waitstaff. Okay, cool. There's that. Now, what's in here, if anything? I don't think there's anything in here. But I'm certainly in here now, and this is my wrench. I feel much safer. Medic rat poison. What's the rat poison do again? Okay, okay, that's that's a pull people away poison. Got it. I'm just allowed in there. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um Have you seen the other security that's here? The ones upstairs? Oh yeah, yeah. Nice up. Well, let's put the poison away. Let's not just have the poison out, eh? Um uh -huh. Yeah. Like you're coming through here. I'm not trying to. Okay. So I'm just allowed to mill around back here, or I'm not allowed to mill back mill around back here. That is I'm not entirely sure. That is Victor Novikov. Of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Oh, I guess I'm allowed to just be here then. Hope they tip well here. Hello. Can I... I guess we'll make the bare knuckle boxer, I guess. I shouldn't poison this while you're staring at me, eh? Or am I allowed... It's not an illegal action. Let's go ahead and save before I do this. Because <laughs> I see this ending poorly, but it's too good of a chance to not just do it. So you just, you just don't care then. I just poisoned your drink and you don't care. Okay, good talk. Enjoy that, then. Alright, goodbye. Victor! Victor, there you are, finally. Come join us for a drink. Wakefield really wants to meet you. Did you know he flew in from a shoot in New Zealand just to see the show? Well, his arms must be tired. Ha ha ha! Julian wants to play the movie version of me that bad, and you may have to ask. Victor, you are so funny! Seriously! Come! Come join us! Perhaps later. There's something I need to attend to. Okay, what do we got? Opportunity. Okay. Um. There's a private meeting that can happen. Okay, I've screwed that one up. Um, all right, let's see. In the flesh, my looks like hell finally has frozen. I should hope not, Victor. I know how you like it hot. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Crackpot theories about 
But alas, I have a show to run. To be continued. Sure. That was a little menacing. I'm fine, thanks. Sorry. So is he gonna do something? I probably need to take you down at some point, eh? Well, you are quite a ways away from me, but there's all these people. <laughs> probably shouldn't do that just yet. He doesn't even know that it's me, but I better just stay stealthy anyway. I'd love to choke this bodyguard out, but I don't think that's uh, that's a good idea. Wow, what an asshole. Sorry about him, folks. Now he's being dry humped by his bodyguard. That's definitely not the time to take him out now. Is he gonna is he gonna go drink that cocktail I made for him? No? Alright, cool. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Glad that I made that for you for no reason, dick. All right, where are we going? What are we doing? Okay, so he's just out in the loud room now. Got it. There's some standing up here. That's handy. Now, if only I could get upstairs as wait staff. Scissors. Go ahead and take those. For the irony, kill the fashion designer with scissors. No. Oh, opportunity. What's this about? What opportunity is this? Hi. Yes, I. Oh, oh, are you? Now, look, according to the young fashion blogger, Novikov has agreed to do a live interview. This could be a good time to catch the Sanguine CEO off guard. The location, however, is currently unknown, and in any case, the blogger needs a replacement lens for her camera. May I suggest you help a girl in need? Hmm. I'll meet your guy. Sounds good to me. Look, I literally run alongside the van, throw money in the window, right? I feel kind of bad for her. Let's, um... Uh, I guess I probably should just go and get the uh, the thing. Nobody cares that I'm a waitstaff guy just walking around? Okay, cool. Great. This disguise is perfect. The most flawless disguise. I can't go back here, though, can I? Waiter? You guys, are, you guys are cool with this? Alright, cool. Best disguise. Oh my god, the best disguise. In before somebody immediately knows that I'm not who I say I am. Oh yeah, that's a really good thought. I mean, like, really, really awesome thought. Maybe one of your best thoughts ever. God. I mean, Negative. Okay, nobody saw that. Great. Back inside. Excuse me, guys. 
excuse me, fellow employees of th of the fashion show. And see, kids, I have the scissors stowed away. I'm not running with them. That's irresponsible. Waiters will be I'm good. Back to work. Yep. Will do. Thanks. All right, that was easy. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but overhear. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, God, yes! Yes, thank you so much. Oh, what do I owe you? Just glad I could help. Thanks, mister. You're a nice neighbor. Not a problem. I'm just going to go ahead and follow you now. Just going to be inconspicuous waiter man. Hopefully this meeting is private so I can throw these scissors at uh, at Victor. Was that her tech guy? No. Okay. That's cool. Sorry, I'm a little sick still. It happens quite a bit. Oh, can I go up? I don't think I can go upstairs. Unless she's just gonna wait for him now. Oh, is Victor in the toilet throwing up? Oh, oh, poor guy. Either case, I don't think I can go upstairs. Hi, yeah, I was here earlier. Lana, Caprice. I'm here to interview Victor Novikov. I'll let him know you're ready, miss. He's busy vomiting right now. Aw, that's, that's upsetting. I'm sorry, ma'am. That's a little mean. Why are you following me? I'm not following you. I have important waiter stuff to do out here. Oh, the meeting's gonna be like right well here, done, out in the. Novikov should be right here, like a moth to the spotlight. Oh, that's so not gonna help me though. Uh. Crap spackle. That's not gonna help me at all. I gotta get to a vantage point, I guess. Okay, whatever. Unless it's what's up. Someday you may own your own restaurant. I mean I guess if that's what I wanna do. It's, maybe it's not what I wanna do. Um what do I got? What 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 can I do that's interesting here? Uh Okay, I need a different kind of poison for that then. Uh, okay, I can't do that one. Because I missed the chance to... Uh, oh, I think I could figure that one out. Hold on. I don't know what to do with it, but... I can most definitely fl flick a coin into the fountain. Ha! I'm good at this. Put those coins away. If I had the explosive, I would do that now, but... 
May just have to uh, take this one, I guess. All right, and that's where we're going to take a break. So give me one second, everybody, and I will be right back for the rest of the set of Replaying Paris.